your friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Hello students, here we start with polynomials. Firstly, we will define and study the properties of polynomials. Then we will move to the Mingdor theorem and factor theorem. And finally, we will learn to factorize polynomials. Let us first recall algebraic expressions. On this screen is an example of algebraic expression which has x and y as variables and each term is a combination of constant and variable. Like in the term 7x, 7 is constant and x is variable. Similarly, for 2y, 2 is constant and y is variable. For minus 2, we can write minus 2 is constant and x to the power 0, y to the power 0 as variables and for x square y we have 1 as constant and x square and y as variables. In this chapter we will start our study with particular type of algebraic expression called polynomials. Consider an algebraic expression x plus 1 by x. This can be written as x plus x power minus 1. Since in this expression, one of the exponent is minus 1 and minus 1 is not a whole number. So, the given algebraic expression is not a polynomial. Consider another example under root of x plus 3y. This can be written as x power half plus 3y. Here again, one of the exponent is half, which is not a whole number. So we can say that the algebraic expression is not a polynomial. So we come to a conclusion that algebraic expression which has only whole numbers as the exponent of variables is called a polynomial. Consider another example of the algebraic expression. Since all the exponents of the variables are whole numbers, so we can say that the given expression is a polynomial in three variables namely x, y and z. But in this class we will only study polynomials in one variable. Consider this example. It is a polynomial as all the exponents of the variable are whole numbers and it has only the variable x. From now on we shall only discuss polynomials in one variable. Let us look at some more examples of polynomials. Consider the first example. It is a polynomial with variable x. And so we can denote the polynomial by px equal to 2x. Look at the second example. It is a polynomial in variable y. So we can 
denoted by qy equal to y square plus 2y. Look at the third example. It is a polynomial in variable x. So we can write it as or we actually denote it by px equal to minus x cube plus 4x square plus 7x minus 2. Similarly, we can also have a polynomial with variable u. Then we can denote it by say su equal to 2 minus u minus u square minus 6 u power 5 plus 4 u power 4. Let us now understand what is meant by term of a polynomial. Consider the polynomial Tx. It has two terms. x square is one term and 2x is another term in the polynomial Tx. That means our first example has only one term. Second example has two terms. Third example has one, two, three, four terms. The fourth example has 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 terms. Also, each term of a polynomial has a coefficient. For example, in Tx, first term, x square has a coefficient 1. Similarly, the second term, 2x, has the coefficient 2. Let us take up another example of the polynomial. In this example, coefficient of x cube is minus 1. In the second term, coefficient of x square is 4. In the third term, coefficient of x is 7. And in the last term, that is the fourth term, minus 2 <coughs> is a constant term. But we can say that it is a coefficient of x to the power of 0. We must always remember that x to the power 0 is equal to 1. Look at the expression on the screen. A question may arise whether it is a polynomial or not. We know that we can write 2 as 2 into 1 or further we can write it as 2 into x to the power of 0. Now clearly qx is a polynomial as power of the variable is a whole number and we call such polynomials as constant polynomial. If we have px equal to 0, it is called 0 polynomial. A polynomial say t y is equal to 2y square has only one term so it is called monomial. Similarly, a polynomial say qx equal to x square minus x has two terms. So it is called 
polynomial. Let us take another example. Say R u equal to u plus u square minus 2. It has three terms. So it is called a trinomial. Now it remains to understand the degree of a polynomial. To understand this, let us consider a polynomial Px. Then we can see that Px power 7 is the term with the highest power of x. And the exponent of x in this term is 7. So we can say that degree of given polynomial Px is 7. Consider another example Qy. Then the highest power of y is 6. So we can say that degree of given polynomial Qy is 6. That means that we call the highest power of the variable in a polynomial as the degree of the polynomial. That means if we have Px is equal to 3, a constant polynomial, then the degree of this polynomial is 0. So, degree of Tx is 0. Hence, we can say that degree of non-zero constant polynomial is 0. Look at the polynomial Px. The degree of this polynomial is 1. Consider another polynomial R2 is equal to t plus u2. Again, the degree of this polynomial is also 1. Consider uy equal to 2y. Then degree of qy is also 1. So, on the basis of the degree of a polynomial, we define that a polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. Rx is equal to 2x square plus 5 has degree 2. Pt is equal to 6 minus t minus t square is again a polynomial of degree 2. We define a polynomial of degree 2 is called a quadratic polynomial. Similarly, Px and Qy are examples of polynomial of degree 3. So we define that a polynomial of degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial. You must be wondering that what is the degree of a zero polynomial. It is important for you to remember that degree of zero polynomial is not defined. Let us read the question. Find the degree of each of the polynomials given below. Let us consider the first part. It is a polynomial which has three terms and the highest power of the variable is 5. So, we can say that since highest power of the variable is 5, so degree of the polynomial is 5. Let us now look at the second part. The highest power of y in the given polynomial is 8. So, 
degree of the given polynomial is 8. Let us now look at the third part of the question. It is a constant polynomial. It can be written as 2 into x power 0. Then the highest power of the variable will be 0. So, degree of the polynomial is 0.